Hello, fight fans. Welcome to Boxing Blossom Guys. And please, if you're new to the channel, click the like and subscribe to the right number. So, let's talk about David Harlan. The guy that got recently bamboozled by David Price. After the. I mean, I don't want to actually say this. After what happened to. Mazim Dadajev lots and lots of fans were worried about Dave Harlan so they actually start, start sending, him, sending him a message to try to retire because looking at the beating it took from David Price uh, 36 years old heavyweight you know what I mean a guy who we can say is past his, is past his prime uh, because the reprise, you know, is not is not a young guy anymore, man. You understand? So he's close to the to the time where he's no longer as man, man no longer be as fit as he used to be. But everyways, they tend to age, you know, late. We saw what just from our deed, you know, at the age of forty five years old. So you can only estimate everyways. By the way. So lots of lots of fans sent him a message to to, to the message him to 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 reconsider. You know, what I mean, what is stated saying that uh, he might continue to fight again, something like that. And Dave Harlan had this to say on Instagram, as you can see right here. He said, "I quote: Had lots of people message him, worrying about me." You don't need to. I'm still smiling, and this bump in the road just added another few chapters to the book and added half hour to the film. Don't worry, it's all good. You know, Dave Haller is one hat guy, a guy that is really ready to to do anything. You know, a guy that 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 hardly quit in a fight, but surprisingly, he quit. Last weekend, this past weekend, you know, against the reprise, and not only quit, and he got badly beat up, and it's gonna have to stop it, just like the corner of Mazim that I have had to stop the fight, you know, against the Subri Matias. <sighs> so should David Harlan consider retirement? Knowing that his health might not be, you know, let's say his body might not be ready for the punishment is going to take in the future. You might say, well, if he wants to fight, he should fight guys who are very low level, who are low level fighters, you know, who are not uh, a threat. But listen, it is the other division. Any thing can happen one punch can change it all one punch can change everything and if there is no vada testing you never know what other guy is going to bring to the table if there's no vada testing then you never know what's going to happen that's why i will actually recommend every boxer okay to be vada tested to go through the procedure of vada testing for any fight okay just to know what's what any of the guys might be taken so Dave Haller got badly beat up as you can see right now look you look at his his eyes here you look look at his look at his one of his eyes here totally closed the other one look at look at his face look at the head Dave Haller is a guy that has no defense you know he blocks punches with his face and in the other division the visual which is even more brutal, okay, more brutal, I say more brutal than the super lightweight or any other division because guys in the aero division, if they punch you, you feel it everywhere. You don't just feel it, you know, in that, in the in only the position they punch you at, you feel it everywhere. <clears throat> so, David Price, we saw what he did to Dave Holland. He actually bamboozled him. To, to beats destroyed him and I wouldn't like to see Dave Harlan as much listen I like this guy Dave Harlan 
he has a he has a son he's a family man he loves his family you know me he's a guy who is very fun as much as i've trolled him as well on on, yeah, on twitter and i also it was not trolling because i actually spoke my mind and the facts you know he's a guy that got big headed after the show lost saying that the show quit saying just should go to an island and move to an island something like that and never boss again and he, the beating it took the, that the beating it took he took uh that beating it took this past weekend I wouldn't want to see him take such beating again especially if he's going against a guy like Dubois <coughs> Dubois is not the prize Dubois power is scary he's still young and very deadly so I wouldn't want to see this guy in against any top 10 top 50 in fact top 30 you should go fight top 100 guys guys that brings no power to the table guys that are weak but i don't know for how long he's gonna be he's gonna keep on fighting those guys before he would say listen it's time for you to step up because at the end we're not be giving you paychecks after pictures to fight bombs after bombs after bombs you know what i mean so i think it's time for dave holland to to retire okay i know that he still has the fighting spirit in him i know he still want to fight i know that for sure because this guy is one tough motherfucker he's uh sorry guys for that word he's one tough mofo but i just think he should reconsider he should reconsider especially listen health you don't play with health okay you don't play with it you don't play with your health money can come at any given angle but health you can never buy it you only have one of it and once you lose it then you lose everything because no matter how much you might have in your account no matter how much you may you may have made in your career that wouldn't help you you're gonna spend all that goddamn money you know I me mean, to make sure you're okay so I just want to see Dave Allen think twice before he make his next move because you see this guy's face right here you see the head here being bamboozled by David Price we don't want to see that again we don't want to see this guy take punishment again even David Price people I know David Price people advised him to retire after he lost to you know um, Poverkin the, in the manner he lost to Poverkin was brutal I myself I advise him to retire as well but he kept fighting maybe David Price regained um, himself again his mental uh, state of mind maybe <clears throat> he's changed some things in the gym and he wants to box now he don't, he don't want to fight if, if he gets punished then he just stop maybe he want to be like that maybe he just want to box now and not try to fight you know anyone he, he fight against it will be a boxing match maybe that that's his plan and le let's see how that can play out but for Dave Haller he has no defense okay he has no defense he blocks punches with his face he takes lots of punishment before he, he, he does not let his hands go he has no footwork you know he's a guy who's gonna wait for you to 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 beat him up before he start landing his own he will wait for you to 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 gas out you know or to start losing momentum before he start throwing and sometimes that does not work and we also saw this last past weekend that didn't work against the reprise so as a guy who like Dave Holland as a guy who is the guy nothing but the best as a guy who is also listen when you're talking about family men you know what I mean you have to remember that you're not just fighting for yourself you're fighting for everyone if you have no one on this on this planet if you only have you maybe your family are all gone or something like that that's a different case but if you have a family that cares about you you have a son you have a daughter you have you have keys you I, you have pe you have someone that care about you you gotta think twice about your career before you get bamboozled you know what i mean or you get badly hurt and may never recover either you get a, a lifetime injury or maybe that you suffer a lifetime injury or i don't know 
you lose your you, you lose your consciousness so let's not wish Dave Allen bad luck I like the guy you know even though he's talking about Joshua we just want to see the best for the guy so now I would say Dave Allen should consider retiring yeah please 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 so that's it for now guys if you like what you just heard click the like and subscribe button please um go follow me on instagram at boxing center follow me on twitter at boxing block and as well on facebook at boxing center guys and also and as well uh comment below okay comment below give you to give your thoughts do you think they should 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 retire and focus on something else maybe become a like become a, a commentator or just just do something else that does not really affect your health you know what i mean because fighting is a different game i found the street when i was young it was it was a different it was a different time then because at that point we fought with weapons you know what i mean everything was involved you saw people got shot so you both triple beam bush out other stuff so it's a different case but i just want to see people have a healthy lifestyle and fulfill their dreams without getting badly hurt or losing their life man cheers guys stay blessed Chop of these niggas and pastors, real street nigga, I'm preaching the gospel. No